During my visit today, I heard directly from refugees about their heartbreaking experiences fleeing the Assad regime and their resilience as they forge new livelihoods for themselves and for their families. And while we know the ultimate goal is for refugees to return home, and I know that that is their ultimate goal, what I heard today is that people remain fearful about the conditions in Syria and that they are not ready to return. It is indisputable that the current environment is not conducive to return. My major takeaway from this visit is that the international community must be vigilant in ensuring that any refugee returns are safe and voluntary and dignified. where the activities are determined based on what is it that the community needs now, and also those who learn how to do art later on. And this is where they display most This is your way? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the name of the painting. Wow. I wrote this one, by the way. Uh, and uh, the last of the project, they uh, provide us uh, after 10 years of war, we know that hosting hundreds of thousands of refugees is no easy task. But we must remember every day that they are real people. They are mothers, they are fathers, they are children, they are families, and they need our support. Area called Maiden Zatari. Uh -huh. Maiden Zatari is a women's center. I will use my platform at the United Nations to encourage others to contribute to this cause. Rest assured that the United States continues to stand with Jordan and other host countries to ensure the protection of vulnerable refugees. And we stand with the refugees as they forge a life for their families here in Jordan.